Hey, I'm Dan, and this is Dan's Planes.
Okay, I was going to say that I got one side done. Now to flip it over and do the other side and make sure the tops and bottoms are okay. And that's when my battery died. So that's the plan. I won't record all that. I just want to get it done. But this was a good refresher on how to do this. So after I get the other parts done, then I'm supposed to take off the tape and then let it sit overnight. But then I guess it's supposed to cure, which I was reading from Roy. Sometimes I read about two and a half weeks cure time. And I swear I read one of his articles that said like three months cure time. So I don't know, the paint has to finish out gassing and has to finish curing, but I don't know. Um, so I don't know when I'll get to put my top coat on or run the engine, but at least more steps closer. What? Okay, Princess and I thought I would record the unveiling. So here's all the, the pre. Hey, get down. You don't need to be in my paints. Alright. Grab a couple still pictures. Cleaned up my area a little bit. Cleaned up the airbrush. Why do I feel like I'm undressing a wound? and easy peeling this off. Don't get points for rushing. So no reason to. Remember this is dried a little bit with the heat gun. Oh, that is slick. I don't want to take off the uh, other tape because I still have to do the red lines. Oh my, that looks good. It looks just as good as I imagined it. Look at that nice crisp line. 
and then those are not painted. Wow, man. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Got a little spot underneath the paint. I mean, underneath the tape. But I am... I am very, very happy with this. One down. I don't know how many to go with the red. But I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, there we go. Um, there looks like there were alternating stripes on here. So it's going to be easy for me to tape off. Now I say that, of course, and hex myself. But I think it's going to be fairly easy to tape off um, the white and spray the red. So I think I've got one, two, three, four, five stripes of red or white. Yeah, I think that needs to be the way to go with a little bit of white on top. I have to look at my reference drawing or picture. But keep in mind, I'm not doing this to copy a certain airplane and be scale. I'm just doing a fantasy scale to have fun. So I will do what I do. And you do what you do. All right, man, coming along. That's all for now. We now have tape over what will be the white stripes, not the band, white stripes of paint. So where it is white now is going to be red. I've got all the blue taped off and then the white taped off. So next step is painting the red. Okay, there were a couple of small spots and like I said, some warm water on a cloth. Um, just pull them right off, except for here. There's just a little bit on the blue, and um, I didn't want to rub too hard on the blue, but I tried getting it off, and I don't want to risk messing it up, so that's just going to end up where it is. But even going over the access panel um, turned out really nice. So all in all, I'm extremely happy, and I'll be proud of having this bad boy at the field. Now we need to touch up some silver, which again, I bought the wrong silver paint. So I'm just going to take the wing and the lows, try to find the right paint once and for all. Need to do some touch up on the wing, then clear coat the whole thing. I'm waiting on grease from Daryl at Sierra to grease that pneumatic cylinder for the retracts. And then this is a brand new motor. So going to run it and follow any steps to break it in. So we're getting closer. Another step, another large step closer, knocking this out. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dan from Dan's Planes. I just want to share some content about RC planes, something I've been passionate about since childhood. I'm hoping I can teach something to someone I can start some discussion and learn some things from others. So let's just have some fun and learn some things together. If you enjoyed what you watched, it would really help me out if you could like, subscribe, and share. And if you feel that it helped you out in some way, or it might help future viewers, I'd really appreciate it if you'd visit my Patreon page and become a patron. It's like throwing a dollar tip into a guitar case when you pass by. It helps to, to fund future content and future projects that I'll be working on. I plan to show some past content. I have some other flights and I have some fly-in events that I've been to. And I also plan to show future flights and future repairs, as well as building ARFs. And if I can ever get back to it, building my top flight uh, Spitfire. So there's a lot of content to come, but it's, it's viewers like you that are able to support what I'm doing. And by doing that, I'm able to spend more time creating that content in the future. So I'd really appreciate it. But either way, thanks for watching and thanks for any support. And I wish you blue skies and good speed.